Got a dream in a tea last night, watched the world fade out of sight. Seen the ghosts of time preside, eagle sword and falcons cried. Sleeping phoenix on a rise. Abundance and strange the skies. Um, well, hello everyone to our last Phoenix Rising show, or at least for now. For now, the last. Uh, Loki has managed to put this together. It was not that easy, was no. it? Getting stuck no. in your flow and... But we, we got it up for what would have been Ross' 63rd birthday today. And um, incidentally, 63 is also the number of the hexagram after completion. And that is what occurred to me, that no matter how much we experience it as a loss, that he's gone, but he left us an incredible amount of work, an incredible body of knowledge to carry on with, to, for each of us in our own way, in our own unique way, continue with the legacy. And uh, yeah, his work apparently was done, was completed. And with that in mind, we can just focus on, on the beauty of this, the wealth of knowledge that he Getting left it out to the world. To all of us and for generations to come and how many this is going to help in the long run. And yeah, so. We've also created the Jovian Archive Media Inc. Facebook page where we will keep you updated on everything raw. And, and yeah, okay. enjoy the show. Okay. Bye for now. Hello, everyone, and uh, welcome to Phoenix Rising. Um, <laughs> jokes on you, right? <laughs> okay, let's do it. Da, 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 da. What is the impact of what Ra brought is yet to really be felt. It's certainly been felt by those people who have learned it and studied it and been present in his classes, how clear he was. I mean, he, he is the best teacher professor I've ever had because it all flowed together. There was no hemming and hawing. There was no note shuffling, no paper shuffling. You know, it was all just seamless. When I saw the last Phoenix Rising office. Every every week, I would just go like, it's like he's starting. It's like the first one he does, you know. And that's what I have been uh, seeing doing him doing for uh, almost 18 years, you know. Always just taking it further, just taking it on, just taking it on. So for me, um, the human work, you know, the the human devotion, the the determination, you know, this no hesitation. It didn't matter if anybody else was going to come along. He'd do it anyway. Uh, that's what he did for me. I mean, uh, he brought a great message. It's yet to really be, uh, to burst onto the scene. I used to call it the uh, Oprah effect. When Oprah Winfrey gets a reading on her TV show, then the whole world is going to be wanting a human design reading. I remember when we first met and got associated that, you know, I just had this idea that we needed someone like Coca-Cola to sponsor human design. And then, you know, it would just go like that. It would be all over the world, you know, take over. I had no idea how naive that was. I'm more astounded that the world has him to like, I would say to him, this is going to trap. He said, logic crawls. What he did is that he trained a bunch of people, you know, and he trained them in depth, you know, and he didn't care if, 
I don't know, he was a, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a fractal thing, so I guess. So, um, and he made sure that, you know, his fractal was a universal one, you know, so that the knowledge was not going to be in, in any mad human being's hands, you know, that there was always going to be um, others. He did a great job. I mean, I was always impressed, but... Uh, uh, his music, wow. Well, the melancholy, you know, the melancholy of his lyrics. I love his lyrics. I mean, I love the, I love the music they did with the, with the Dark Queen Penta. I mean, it's uh, great music. But for me, it's less raw, if you know what I mean. But basically, for me, raw was raw music was he and his guitar. and demons shooting stars there goes Mr. No in his black attire strung out between the word or oh, guitar desires out here at the edge of the fire that's a loose cannon as the cameras roll It's a suffering as yes, souls. Mr. No keeps jangling in his gray and clothes. Out here at the edge of the fire. Planet of shame, planet of blame, it's all true. I say, planet of shame, all this tiresome game. I lived out with you. Messenger had the way. So says Mr. No innocently the slave. There's masters in every corner. Oh, it's uh, all arranged. Yeah, yeah. Out here at the uh, edge of the fire. Planet of shame, planet of blame. It's all true. I said, Planet of shame on this task of game. Steaming humanity got no cast. Uh, stupid at the first, oh, stupid to the last. Now you're at the uh, edge of the fire. Planet of shame, planet of blame, it's all true. Planet of shame, all this tiresome game. Lived out by you. between the words. 